It's been 20 years since this deck has had a railing, so today we're going to add one. Let's build that. I started out by cutting my 4x4s in half. I was hoping to get 48 inches, but they were used so I got what I got. I think it was like 42. But these will make the four corner posts for my three sided railing. On each post I measured out about three inches apart, a couple inches up, and dead nuts in the center for a half inch carriage bolt six inches long. So I just pre-drilled that out had to go a little bit bigger so I went up to about a half inch drill bit. On each corner of the deck I went in about three inches and marked a vertical line. This is so I can hold my post up. I transferred the mark to the inside and then went in another about inch and a half and about three inches down and this should mark out around the center point between my two carriage bolts. I could then use a timber lock screw and I could anchor my 4x4 post to the deck to hold it in place. Before I put my carriage bolts in I made sure all my posts were level and then I drilled through the deck boards with my half inch drill bit and I used a half inch by six inch carriage bolt to and put them through and then used a lock washer, flat nut, and regular washer to attach those bolts down. And there you can see all four posts are on and we are pretty much ready to move on to the next step. So I would like to see a little more posts sticking out the bottom but it'll do and it'll hold. It's plenty strong enough. So the next step was to cut some half posts so I cut another 42 inches out of this 2x4 pressure treated and these will create half posts that I'm going to anchor to the wall to create a mounting point for my railing. So I transferred some measurements over to split it into rough thirds so that I can use three timber locks to anchor these posts to the house. So once I had the marks I pre-drilled my timber locks Then I lined them up with the deck just like the other ones, make sure they're level, and I anchored it to the wall. Like I said, I did this for both sides, and it acted as a sort of half post to use as an anchor for my railings. Now that those are up, we can measure our runners between posts. So we're going to do two on this side, two on the front side, and two on the other side top and bottom measure bolts just in case the, uh, the posts aren't completely vertical. So I cut my two for the left side of the deck. I cut two more for the center side of the deck. Your runner boards can be a max of four inches from the decking, so I'm just using a two by four to space it at three and a half, and I'm pushing it out so that the ballasts are flush with the outside. And I'm just gonna toenail in the top, sides, and bottom with some decking screws. These are actually finishing trim screws. So I'm just transferring the same thing over, making sure the other side's flush with the ballasts, and I'm just toenailing in the top, side, and in the bottom. This will anchor that bottom. And now I'm just gonna put the same piece across the top. And these will create our two runners. Once you have these up, you're gonna do the same thing for all the sides in between all your posts. So if you're doing a deck that doesn't quite match the same dimensions as mine, you know, this is just the same process between all the different posts. So you get an example of a straight run and a corner and you know you should be able to handle building a deck using this method so like I said I'm just putting up all these runners around all three sides of the deck and uh, we'll worry about the runners between the corners later
Now it's time to cut all of our ballast because they come pretty much in a uniform length and we needed them short. So I cut them all up and it's time to figure out uh, whether we're going to start with a ballast in the center or a space in the center. So I'm using a 2x4 space and you just want to mark out the center and then run alternating back and forth. And whatever gives you a decent look, whether you start with a ballast or start with a center, that's what you can do. And uh, it's easier than just doing some rough math. So now that I know that I'm starting with a gap in the center, I'm using my 2x4 as a gap. I'm just running one ballast next to the 2x4 to create a 3.5 inch gap and I'm just working my way from the center out. So I'm just going to run through installing all of these and I'm using the same method for these two sides. I put the gap first and on the front side it was a different measurement so I had to run my algorithm type thing to figure out exactly whether I wanted to start with ballast or a post. There it is, the deck with the three sides. Now it's time to do the corners. So I'm just measuring, it's about seven between the posts. So I'm gonna cut four corners with 45 degree miters so that I can create runners through the corners of the two posts. Now I can use the same two by four spacing and anchor these runners in the top and bottom just to finish out the rounding in the corner. Once those are screwed on, I can use my two ballasts with a two by four spacer to finish off these corners. Here's my kid checking to see if uh, he can fit his head through. And of course, he can't. So now the next thing to do is to figure out your fancy math with the corners. So see if you can follow this. 12 and a half, right? So if you look where our point is, that's like three inches this way. So if you take that off, then we're looking at six and a half inside dimension. And what's the angle in the corner? 22 and a half. So basically we just roughed out our dimensions. We uh, used some scraps to figure out where everything lined up and we're figuring out what our corner miters are. So we got this one piece with two 22 and a halves and these will create the corners of our posts. Once I had those up, I then rough anchored my top caps, uh, one by sixes, with enough overhang so that they would pass the point of the corner and once those were roughly anchored, I could then take my corner pieces that we already cut and just mock them up. Just in case the deck wasn't completely square, we can now transfer these lines based off that piece, which might not be a perfect 22 and a half, but it's close enough to get the dimensions right. Transfer those over both corners, this corner and that corner. And then once those are transferred, I can then remove these deck pieces which just have a couple screws on them holding them in place mark their location and then I can just go and cut those markings that I made and that's just an easy way to ensure you get nice tight fit versus trying to do all sorts of math to figure out your exact miter dimensions so figure out your corner rough out your boards cross over the measurements and put it all together so now that I have all the pieces, I can screw them back down in their final spot. I screwed the inside edge closest to the house and then everything free float so I could shift it as one unit. Um, if you were doing a bigger deck, you know you could do one piece at a time and just work your way out doing measurements and angle cuts as you go. So that's pretty much it. That's the finished rail. Um, my brother's got to come over and stain it later on. but. That was out of my commitment. I just told him I'd help him get it up. So here it is. It's been 20 years. My dad's deck finally has a railing. So now you can actually use it, even though I did use it for most of my childhood. Anyways, 
hope you guys liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this, you can check out some of my past videos here and my playlists. And if you would like to see more, feel free to subscribe to the channel. You and I DIY. I try and post here every Wednesday. So thanks for liking. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And I will see you guys on the next project. Made it two and a half and three and a half. Right? Yeah. Long. Two and a half long, three and a half long. Oh, okay. Oops. Sorry. Killing all my ballast, taking over my camera. Okay. Set that. Oops. The camera going? Keep going. It's yeah. real life. <laughs> Really doesn't make for a good environment, Dad. Don't burn pressure tree. So says Uncle Sam. <laughs>